Hello and welcome to today's math class. Today we have this challenge here. Okay, it's a, um, a right angle triangle and the sides are, are given using um, a symbol, the lambda. Okay, so here yeah, AB is given to be lambda and AC is given to be lambda to the power of 3 and BC is given to um, be uh, lambda to the power of 2. So what is the value of lambda in meter? Okay, so I want to solve for the value here and the data of here and that of here. In other words, just to look for the value of lambda. So how do we solve this? All right, so we take our solution here, right? Okay, so now what we think here or what comes to mind because this is a right angle triangle and so Pythagoras theory comes to mind, right? Okay, it says that when you have a right angle triangle, say the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square of the opposite plus the square of the adjacent. We all know that from our elementary mathematics. And so this can be written as our lambda, which is the hypotenuse to the power of three or raised to the power of two is equal to the opposite here. Okay, well, let's start with this here, which is yeah, the adjacent to the power of two or squared there plus our opposite square. This is Pythagoras theorem. We all know that, right? Now, according to the simple rule in indices, which says that when you have your, your a to the power of your m, n, this is same thing as your a to the power of your m, or in bracket, raised to the power n. Okay? So, we can use this to multiply this. So, if we do that, this is going to give us our ladder to the power of 6, then equal to our ladder to the power of 4, then plus our ladder to the power of 2. Move these quantities on the right hand side to this side of the equation. Okay, so this is going to give us lambda to the power of 6 minus lambda to the power of 4, then minus lambda to the power of 2 equal to 0. So you discover that lambda to the power of 2 is common to everything here. So we can factor that out from the system. So let's factor that out and see what that will give us here. So from here, we're going to have our lambda to the power of 2 bracket. If we use that to divide this, we are left with lambda to the power of 4, then minus uh, lambda to the power of 2, then minus um, 1, close bracket, this is equal to 0. All we just need to do is to apply the rule which says that when you have your a times your b equal to 0, this means that your a is equal to zero or your b is equal to zero okay so we apply this rule here it means that our lambda to the power of two is equal to zero which now implies that our lambda from here is equal to zero but we are dealing with length okay as a dimension and so if we substitute zero here substitute zero here substitute zero here everything will give us zero here so no play shape will exist there okay so no figure will exist there and so this solution is rejected so we discard this okay so this is rejected so we take the second case scenario which is this so we take this as our case two in our case two we have our lambda to the power of four then minus lambda to the power of two minus one equal to zero this is a four degree polynomial equation so we have to look for four root to this challenge here but here we are having two in here we just have to rewrite this, okay? We can solve this using two different methods, okay? We can bring in another figure that can replace minus one here, and we split it into two, then marry it with this and this, right? Okay, but here, we just have to rewrite this, which is the easiest step. So rewriting this could be written as our lambda to the power of two, or raised to the power of two, then minus our uh, lambda to the power of two minus one equal to zero. Now, we bring another alphabet to represent our lambda here. So yeah, let's take it, uh, so let our uh, x, let x be equal to our uh, lambda to the power of two. So if lambda to the power of two is equal to x, what we do here is to substitute. So if we substitute, this now implies that our uh, x to the power of two then minus our x 
minus 1 equal to 0. So we've reduced the fourth degree polynomial equation to a second degree polynomial equation. And this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this using the formula method. So using the formula method, all we need to do is just to state our formula in x. So we have x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything all over our 2a. What is our a? Our a is the coefficient of x squared, so we have a is equal to 1, and our b is the coefficient of ordinary x, and our c is the constant term, which is minus 1. Let's go ahead and substitute these values into these expressions. So we have x will now be equal to, what is our b? b is, oh, I said minus s, sorry, it's minus 1, please. Yes, it is minus 1 because it is the coefficient of x here. So we have here minus bracket minus 1 bracket plus minus the square root of minus 1 all raised to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 the times minus 1. All right, all over 2 times 1. Easy, right? Good. So let's continue on this side here. All right. Now let's look at this. Let's open up this. This is going to give us our x minus, sorry, quarter uh, 1 plus minus here, the square root of our 1 there plus r4 all over 2, which is equal to 1 plus minus the square root of our 5 all over 2. We have two values of x here now. So what are the two values? We have 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 as the first one, which is the golden ratio. And we have 1 minus square root of 5 all over 2. And that will give us a negative value. Again, we are dealing with length. And so that second um, solution will be discarded. So we're going to accept our x equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 only. All right. Now, remember we did a substitution where we said let x be equal to lambda to the power of 2, right? So from here, we say recall. So if we recall that we said our, our lambda to the power of 2 is equal to x, so we can easily bring in here our lambda to the power of 2 is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. So what we do here, we take the square root of both sides again, take the square root of both sides, this we introduce plus minus this, this will leave. So we're going to have here our lambda. Let me draw this very well, please. Okay, so we're going to have our lambda will now be equal to, again, we are going to have minus here, plus minus. We are going to discard that second root again. So we take only the positive. So this is going to give her the square root of our um, 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. If you impute this into your calculator, this square is covering everything down here. Okay, so if you impute this into your calculator, this will give you around 1.272. Okay, so we can say, therefore, lambda is approximately 1.272 meters. So that is the value of lambda that actually satisfies this expression yeah so to get the value or this length here this will give you 1.272 meter and this raise 1.272 meter to the power of three yeah you raise 1.72 meter to the power of two there was if i give you that is the correct value for the hypotenuse adjacent and the opposite so this brings us to the end of today's math class thank you for watching see you in our next class